Many men who say that they love God and they want to do the will of God, it takes God ages. God will be confronting you on the same thing week in, week out, year in, year out. And the man who claims to love God is consistently unwilling to submit to the demands of God. And you see, when God loves you, God will wait patiently. He will keep dealing with you. He will not be in a hurry to release you to the world. Because if he releases you to the world like that, he will bring his name, dishonor, and disgrace. There are many men who are in the pulpit who are doing ministry, women also, who claim that it is God that sent them. And yet, God does not have a record of their release. You know, if you go and do apprenticeship, they will do what for you? What is that in the call? Freedom. Yes. In fact, some freedom, they used to buy coke, buy cabin, and do party. And then they will take picture with their certificate like this. Some people don't have certificate in the spirit that they, they were released from dealings. And you know, the painful thing is that they have left and it looks as if they are doing something for God. But that season of their life will have no record in heaven. God will never endorse what he did not initiate. Never. Never. So there are people who their burdens in ministry they initiated it themselves. So they are under pressure to do early morning prayer now. Because everybody is doing early morning prayer. So the way they are measuring their success in ministry is by the people who come on their early morning prayer. So they've gone to see one man doing early morning prayer, then they started their own. Now as they are doing early morning prayer, God has guaranteed that only two people, only two people come online for the early morning prayer. And one of them is their wife. Now they are frustrated and they are, they are carrying burdens that are not that God did not ordain. Because if you initiate the vision yourself, you will need your hand to sustain it. But if it is God that sends you, he will endorse it. When Jesus came up out of the water, Anamatari, the heavens opened, the spirit of the Lord descended upon him like a dove, and then the father spoke. This is my beloved son. Hear ye him. It was God that compelled men to hear Jesus. God. So in your walk in destiny, it will get to a point when you have successfully endured your dealings. At that point, the great one in heaven will now compel men to pay attention to you. You can be gifted and you will be forgotten. You can be anointed and you will never ever be, be useful to God's agenda until God begins to compel men to hear you. And God's commitment to compelling men is the fact that you endured the dealings of God. Are we together? So tonight,